with the whole of sub-Saharan Africa, they are growing at 5.6%. So we are much higher. Even the emerging markets, we are higher than them. And you can see Brazil, China, South Africa, South Africa at 2.8%, we are 6.75, etc. So we are doing well. Now, I want to spend one minute on something very important because after we talk, people will say GDP growth. What is GDP growth, right? It's not important. That's not what we will eat. But let me explain to you that without that growth, you cannot even begin to solve the problems of this economy. Let me illustrate to you one second. symbolizes our income, our GDP, or your income within your household. GDP is nothing but the income of the country, isn't it? The amount of cake you have to eat, you and your wife and children. The same with a country. This is, let's say this is the amount of cake we have to eat. Now, give me those figures. No, those figures, Honorable Minister. but these are four people sharing this cake. Huh? Have you seen them? Four people. A man, his wife, and two children. Or Nigeria with a population of, let's say, 167 million. So this is the cake we have. All right? You have this cake. Having this cake does not mean that every problem in your household is solved, is it? It doesn't mean that your income can now take care of all your relatives in the family who still have problems. It doesn't mean that in your household you don't have problems of people not being employed. But you have this cake which you're sharing. Now what happens if we add three more people? Suppose as a family you marry another wife. <laughs> and you add one wife and three more children. How many are you now? Seven. This is the cake. What is going to happen if this cake doesn't grow? All of you will be suffering. Isn't it when you marry that wife and have more children, or you, even if you have four and you have another three or four, you will want your cake to grow. That is the same way we want GDP to grow, right? So this is the first cake. What happens if the cake doesn't grow? It's all of you will start suffering. Supposing you now have a bigger cake, put all the people on top. <laughs> and you now have the seven people. What will happen? Will you not be better off? What you, if you have an even bigger cake? <laughs> you see this biggest cake? You can put so many more people on top. Give me all the people. <laughs> All of them will be there. And what will happen? That means that you know you will have even more food. So is it not false when people say that growing the cake does not matter? It matters. Because if you have the same cake and your size is growing, you know? Your, the, your country or your carry it for me, carry this cake it's very heavy <laughs> if, if this cake is not growing then what will happen is that you become even poorer and poorer, isn't it having the not growing you will suffer even more, now Nigeria has a cake, a GDP and our population is growing at 2.5% per annum we are adding I think another what Two people a year. If we don't grow this, what will happen? We will stay with the same cake and it will become worse and worse. So what we want to do is grow this cake as fast as possible, as large as we can, while solving all the other problems. Notice I didn't say that growing the cake solves everything. But if we don't grow it, we are going to do what? 
suffer. So please don't listen to those who say that, ah, what is GDP growth? It doesn't matter. It is not true. It matters tremendously. It is with this growing cake that you can now call those people in your farm, in your village, to say you're not helping them, isn't it? You, your income in the first, you say, ah, they're there in Abuja chopping. We are suffering. If your cake is growing, you can call them. Help them with their health problems. Help them with food. Help them with other things. You understand? But if they, you say cake, doesn't matter, then you cannot help them at all. This is what GDP growth is about. Thank you.